Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. It's um, very bright. It's very bright and very warm, sweaty already. Yes. And everything is still pink. Yes. I wondered why the boys were coming into the house and leaving pink paw prints and the bit over there is still a little bit damp by the gate and they've been skidding around in that and taking it everywhere. Yes. I had a bit of a bad night last night, so I've woken up with a with a robotic neck, let's say. Yes, you have. I must have slept funny. It'll ease in the day, I'm sure. I haven't got to do much today anyway. No. But, uh, there he is. Can I go first? No. <laughs> He's going to make sure there's no, no uh, baddies. baddies in there. How's this today? So you've got the, uh, the Hoover, the uh, vacuum cleaner. And yes. You're gonna use that to get on this rough up before you peel the. Yeah, so obviously away. when I sponged yesterday, I tried to do it as smooth as possible to so get any rough stuff off the, the outside edge, so I've given it a nice finish. And I just left everything to dry so that I can vacuum it up. Yeah. So it can then be painted. Awesome. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I finished off doing it in here, cleaning. That is now ready for lime wash. And uh, Lillian did the sponging. Yes. So the repair that we fashioned yesterday. On this edge, if you remember the Dover had eaten and then we had kind of ended up eating away more, trying to get it back to solid. Yeah. So that's now been sponged. Yeah, that's all sponged, looking good. Yeah. Both sides? Yes. Oh yes. Excellent, right. Lime wash time. Indeed. So, first coat of white wash on the, I'm going to call it a skirting. I keep not knowing what to call it. You, hopefully you can see what I'm trying to achieve. Deco just tape is still down so it's had its other coats. But it's much nicer finish than it had before. So very happy with that. So what we've done here is we have made a small batch by hand well, with that machine as opposed to the cement mixer of the lime render. This is going to be used for in the back back bedroom that is almost finished. There is a little shelf that slopes into the room. I need to make it somewhat level so it can be tiled to make it into a useful space. So that's what this is for. So this is where it's going to go. I'm going to bury these hammer and chisels. I'm <laughs> sick of using them. <laughs> yeah, no preparation. Oh, it's lovely and cool in here. The, uh, the red stuff that we did for the mix is still damp. It hasn't gone off. It's taking forever because of the damp and for the lamp. But that's a beautiful lamp. It will go off when it's ready. It will, but it means I can't paint it yet. So that's all done. Nice and level. And then sort of like smooth the sides up to where I so uh, it blends in. It's not particularly smooth at the top because it's getting tires on. So that's all right. A uh, little bench in there has had another coat of lime. Potentially, it's last. So the last coat is going on the bottom here now. Yes, indeed. Yes. And uh, Lillian's decided that once this last coat's gone on, and she's got all the way back to this point here, which is uh, there the starting point, there's ending point. Then uh, the tape's coming off. Good idea as to how it's going to look. Yes. Yeah, because we don't want the paint to come off when it's completely dry because of the nature of lime. It could uh, create crumbly dust of the, the lime wash, so we want a nice crisp edge. As it were. This room is done, completely done. 
So yesterday I was let down for a skip. I ordered a skip, I was told no, then I was told yes, then I was told it would be arriving yesterday evening. It never turned up, I've sent messages, they've been read and listened to, and it hasn't turned up this morning. The reason we need a skip is we need to sort out through everything that we've got stored in that side, decide what we're keeping and store it on this side, and everything that we're not keeping has got to be got rid of in a skip. There is somebody else that can help me with a skip, but not for four days. So we're at sixes and sevens as to what to do meanwhile. So we're going to have to find things to posture out. TV company also want to come and film us cleaning floors, but they can't come till the middle of next week. What are we going to tackle today? Go start. I want to do the fan, the extractor fan for in here, get yep. that fitted once and for all, and get that and just have a temporary piece pipe just pointing up the chimney. Um, and that's about it, really. Well, Chris is making more mess. Look at yeah. that that's come out from, sorry. Up there. We're at the chimney. There's like a shelf there that's absolutely full like this. So I've got to clean that obviously, carefully. Okay, solution. I've got to be careful so I don't bend it, so I'll leave it in place. So this, this aluminium pipe, what I need to do is make a hole so that the extractor fan can fit over it and then there's enough room in case it needs a bit of a wiggle or anything else like that. This is far too big for the extractor pipe, what we need. Mm -hmm. yeah, we only need 100 and I think this is 120. So that's great. And it's literally just so as a hole and it's not a mess around it. Uh, so what we'll do is fix that. We'll just make a little batch of lime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, get that fitted in place. I've got a bit of a mess on. Yes. I thought it was all, it would be all sutton. So if it's not, it's just ground. Yeah. Well bit powder. Yeah. Oh, it smells damp. Does it? Mm. It smells damp and fusty. Hey, I'm mixed. I did it by hand. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to place it by hand as well. Well, I ended up getting gloves on as well and helping out. Yeah, we had to do it from both sides at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so that's it. Hello again. Hello. That's it all nice and neat on this side. Same on this side, nice and flat. Yes. I'm not going to show you the mess on the floor that we have to clean up. But that's all right. <laughs> but it's done. Yes. Wait for it to go off. Yes. And that metal tube can be collapsed yep. and taken out. Yep. And we are good to go. Yes. Good job well done. Yeah, indeed. This is a massive piece of quartz. We've got lots of bits of quartz, some here and some nice bits there, as well as marble. Ah, we wasn't sure what to do with it. We did think of potentially drilling a hole up it or something like that. And then we changed our minds and thought it would look nice just, just around here. This bit of wall is an ongoing thing. Every time we have a bit of spare lime, we just add a little bit more to it. Okay. Right, that's it placed. I think it looks fabulous. Bear in mind, all of this later on is gonna be monocapped white up to where you reach the rocks or the marble and they will be left exposed and obviously cleaned off. Yeah, and the quartz. And the quartz and what have you. Yeah. <clears throat> Interestingly, I know exactly where this piece of quartz came from. Yes. Uh, because we found it, it was just lying around in the garden, wasn't it? It was. And we thought, oh, that's beautiful. And then uh, when we was doing work in cave one, mm -hmm. I'll show you. When we was doing lining and everything in here, <clears throat> we're taking all the old stuff off. There was a big massive gap just there and it fitted 
perfectly it did in there mm -hmm. uh, it might have been a piece been used for backfill previously but it may not have been but it absolutely fitted perfectly in there in all the rocks yeah uh, we didn't think we actually potentially could have limed it in place and it would have been back to where it used to live but then it may not have looked nice it, it probably wouldn't have popped for no. us i think cleaned up out there in the sunshine obviously it will one day yeah yeah so it's arrived one piece of fencing yes and it's associated with bracketry and clampations and clampations chris is gonna to have to cut it yes because we are actually putting it here now when we had this original fence fitted for some reason they cut it to the height of this wall so there's random pieces of metal sticking out like that but Dover, when he decides that he doesn't want anybody walking out there, jumps on this. You can see the markings. Yeah. And he's broke, destroying it. They broke the clamp there, so I've had to put a bit of this. So uh, we've got a piece. Got a piece. What I'm actually going to do is the onto this piece is I'm going to put some more of this green stuff. And then the new piece of fencing is going to go on the inside of this. And it's going to go right down. It's not being cut at the bottom. We're only cutting it widthwise. Yes and hopefully that should solve this problem. I was going to be doing this, but uh, I'm not getting steps out just to be able to reach that small that small amount of height extra that I need. Yeah, you're only about an inch too short to I reach. Know. Well, there we go. It's hanging there now. So between us, we can now um, cable tie it. Ever so warm. Yeah. Ever so warm. Right, it's looking good. Yes. I'll get that cut then. Okay. Yep, what do I need to do? Stop it from bouncing or hold it or anything? I don't need to do anything. Okay. I'm just keeping myself out of the way. Hey. Cut. All these bits I saved. Keep saving these bits. That'll actually come in handy for something. Yeah, hopefully up there, and if not for something else. Yes. So we'll keep that in storage. Yeah. So we've just done a quick test fit with this. They're too long. Uh, and I don't have a vice to hold them in to grind the end off. That is a real shame. Um, I could try and splay them out a little bit, but again, I don't have a vice. I, I used to have a vice, I used to have a brilliant vice, but we left it in the UK because I didn't think we were ever going to need it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll think of something, but I've got to get out of this heat. Yes. Standing in this sun is absolutely ridiculous. Yep, okay. So, I've just done an experiment with the big hammer. Big hammers always win. <laughs> It's now like a seagull bird in the distance. Perfect. I've just done a test fit on the spare bit end. So I'm now going to flatten them all so they'll go like that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get them fitted. We've had 20 minutes indoors. And golly gosh, it's not got any cooler out of here. In fact, Dover's just come out of the house and run straight down into the caves because it's cooler down there. Just need to get these connectors onto this and get it fitted.
know. And there we have it. Yes. Very good job, well done. So, it's gone off enough. It's actually quite firm. Obviously not, not ready, ready. But uh, I'm gonna take it out and see what happens. Um, Are you sure? Yes. Take it out? No, I'll do it because I don't want you cutting your fingers because <laughs> it is a bit like razor blady. Okay. Uh, and uh, I've done it before, so I know roughly what I'm doing, but you might slip. Okay, right, I'll fold it now. Hold it in a bit. There yes. you go. Thank yep, got it. Awesome. That'll work. Nice, there's a hole at the top. Yeah. There's nothing that's, we can do about that. No. That's quite well. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not putting it down anywhere, it's filthy. Yeah. Right, I've just got the, the machine now. I just offer it up. Yeah. Because we may end up having to chip a little bit of this out yet. Okay. Okay, then it's not actually pointing at something. We've just had to chip away some of the line, but now it fits in there perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, chipped a little bit away on the line and a little bit extra just here and just revealed a bit of a rock, but that's all right. Uh, perfect. All right, we've now just got to wait for that line to go off properly. Mm -hmm. Doing exactly what he was told not to do. No, no, you said. I like to paint this rock just to give it a bit and I thought well it's still lime and this is lime and it's I just thought I might as well just put its first coat on. <coughs> <coughs> Must work. Of course it's lime. Oh that's it. It's now 8.30 pm on a Friday. <laughs> Barbecue's lit. I've had a shower. God, it's been mental hot today. Absolutely mental hot. <laughs> I was in the shower and there was a beep 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 beep. <laughs> the table was going mental. It was Carmelo with a skip. So we've got a little skip. He said we only wanted a little skip. So we've been waiting for it all day. Well, I've actually been waiting for it since yesterday evening. So that's good. It's finally arrived. <laughs> 